Gonna do a quick review here of this Mad Jax Genesis seat. Thought I would talk a little bit about it and a quick problem I, or a couple problems I have. Um, love it for a couple of reasons. I like the more of the plastic, um, thicker armrests. It's all incorporated. And I had a, um, a metal one that got bent to hell. So this one got some pretty good reviews about how sturdy it is, how much weight you can put on it. And based on how it was built, I didn't think that we would have some issues with bending. Love this seat because it is retractable. It all folds up and I'm able to store it in the corner of my garage here. That is one of the features that drew me to this particular seat. Also the trailer hitch, trailer hitch that I used this year, awesome. Um, it'll tow my utility trailer. We used it for hay rides. All of that is great. And I had a ton of weight on this, not bent at all. All of that is excellent. So you pull this, you pull the pins out of it. I mentioned it in a previous video that I thought this was a noisy seat. So I'll show you what I've done to try and get rid of that noise. So I've got some rubber, just pieces of rubber stuffed in here to try and keep from this moving around too, too much. And I did the same thing underneath here. I've got some rubber stuffed down in there. It seemed to have quieted it down. It's a little bit tighter now. I did get the cooler feature with this. And these are some mod seat covers. I recovered the factory seat. But the other thing that I noticed, the seat tends to bounce around. So I tend to keep some just rags here to try and get rid of some of that noise. And then I have no idea how, but for some reason this door cracked. And I don't know if it's because I had those towels there. Um, Let's see if I can figure out a way to keep that from getting damaged more or maybe even calling for a replacement part, but I really don't know how you get any of that out. I haven't taken the seat apart to get underneath there to see if I can get a replacement door. But um, so other than noisy, I do really like the seat and it is noisy and it probably is because this card is on Navita. So uh, it's on a 600 amp controller. So 37 miles an hour in my neighborhood is, the roads are not horribly smooth here in upstate New York in this particular neighborhood. So that is part of my problem is that there's a lot of bumps in the neighborhood. So it just kind of exacerbates the situation. So one other problem that I'm having or had with the seats that I'm gonna fix here today, and I'll take you guys through that. These clips that hold the back seat on go here. So this is normally would set like this. So only one of them, one of these hangers goes in here. So the majority of the weight is sitting on this, right? As it sits here and hangs. Now, this car is around a lot of kids. Um, I'm wondering if just some kids, you know, going back and forth, potentially that's what snapped it. So originally I had noticed one of these had broken I ordered a set. This is the part number for a new set of hangers. It comes with the hardware for the top and the bottom. So it's a replacement kit. I went ahead and ordered two because I was like, well, if one broke, I'm probably gonna break them again. But what I'm gonna do today is take this little bit of angled aluminum. I'm gonna shave down this little lip and stick this here and it does, it will be able to fit. So with that extra support, hopefully I won't break them again. So I'm gonna go get these pieces ready, just cut a piece of this, drill it. And like I say, I think I'm just gonna put the bottom of this up against my grinder wheel and we'll flatten that out. That way, hopefully we'll avoid breaking these guys off. So I had switched them at one point over the summer um, cause you know, I don't, I don't forget remember exactly which way they are. They're either like this or obviously like that. So I had moved them so that there was a clip and now the other side broke too. So I got two broken ones. So I think we need some extra support. I'll go work on that. Get back with you. All right. I got my little bracket made. So shave the bottom, 
sitting flash, flush on the aluminum. I also had to take the little T that they give you um, and shave some of that down because it extends a little bit further past. So when I shaved the uh, when I shaved the bracket down, it was sticking out and it wasn't allowing this to sit flat. So we had to cut that a little bit too. So get this mounted up here and uh, we'll get our seat back on. So there that is. It looks like it's pulling out, but it did pull in. It's pretty flush right here. And then real quick while I have this off, I like to buy these seat backs. So when I covered these seats, Mods does a nice job. They send you this, uh, it's a little trim ring that you can staple on and it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, but it doesn't go all the way. I don't, I didn't bother putting it all the way cause I knew that I was gonna put buy this cover. So this is an extra little cover that I bought. It just cleans it up and then, uh, you know, makes it look like what the rear seats come with. Because when you cover this rear seat, this is separate. But on the precedent, all this stuff is glued together. So you, I bought this separate cover and that just cleans it up. So let me throw the seat on. It's just these uh, these two bolts go right into here. And then obviously this guy sits on this clip. Get that wrapped up. All right. All fixed up. No more loose seat, so that's good. So yeah, I just think the pressure going down snapped those out. So hopefully we can avoid that in the future with those uh, little pieces of aluminum. So I think my next project, I uh, bought this dome light. It's actually an ATV dome light. You can strap it to your the bars on an ATV. This is the power on and off button right there. I'll use this bed and we'll be trying to do some work at night. Um, in the yard or wherever so i was using flashlights to open all this up and i know that you can get all the canopy lights and all that uh, but i'm gonna stick this dome light right in here and we'll run that wire down the pole and that's probably the next project we're gonna do with this guy so anyway that's a little work on the old mad Jacks genesis 300 so and a little review again overall really like it like the look uh just a couple little pain points as far as it being noisy but again that noise is probably because of how fast this thing rips. And uh, my terrible, terrible streets. So if you have smooth, uh, smooth area that you're riding yours in, probably not so much of an issue for you. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.